who could that be uh, chanting? Well, that is Yoshi, which means that it is time for another video to show my new cute and awesome Yoshi toys. Let's get started with part 8, shall we? First item we have are a pair of Yoshi slippers, and yes, um, the uh, house uh, does get very cold in the winter, especially with the uh, floorboards, so uh, I went on to Amazon to get myself a pair of Yoshi slippers, and at first glance when buying them, uh, I would give them a terrible rating uh, upon receiving them, because they're mostly used for kids instead of adults. Uh, but when I first tried them on, they actually fit quite well. Uh, still, I have to uh, get my toe to make contact with the front of the slipper. Like if I fit my toe right here, basically I have to make contact in the ins on the inside of said slipper. But I have had um, no problems wearing uh, these uh, Yoshi slippers most of the time. Also, I have to um, be careful on where I walk because something may get caught up with the uh, little shoes or the uh, hands. So, gonna have to use a bit of caution when it comes to wearing slippers like these. And so, next item we have. Uh, is uh, one of my favorites that I've been wanting to get to for a long time it is uh, my Yoshi Halloween costume. I wore this uh, in the uh, Halloween of uh, 2016 uh, and I got myself the extra large size uh, and it actually uh, fits quite well uh, and as you can see uh, this one comes with the um, Headpiece, the red shell, and the jumpsuit. Uh, and after wearing this uh, costume in the Halloween of 2016, uh, we took it back to the uh, storage unit where in reality I should have um, kept it in my closet, which you can see right in there. So when I went back over to the uh, storage uh, unit uh, for this upcoming Halloween back in 2017 to pick up this costume, but I actually didn't go trick-or-treating with it. So I just had to uh, test it on to see if it still fits me, at which it still does. Um, and rather than taking this back to the uh, storage shed, just had to keep in my closet, so just in case if there's a certain event going on, like at High Tide Games, or perhaps if uh, there's a certain event in my friend's house, even Comic-Con, uh, whether it's going to be in DC or Baltimore. Just something to consider. Next item, uh, we have uh, an item that uh, really keeps my uh, neck warm when it comes to working in cold places. My Yoshi scarf. I s this is another item that I saw on Amazon, uh, at which I knew I had to. Uh, get it um, and for this item right here on Amazon it says it's for men's but other sites are seen that's for different genders in which I'm assuming unisex but there we go so here's an overview of how uh, the whole scarf is laid out basically showing both ends I'm doing this one-handed, so just bear with me. But on one end, you have uh, Yoshi. In the middle, you have the uh, words saying Yoshi. And um, on the other end, you have the Yoshi egg. And yes, I would do work in the uh, garage uh, a lot, uh, especially in the cold days. So uh, basically, when it's uh, like somewhere below 32, uh, even colder than that, depending on the wind chill. Basically, uh, just wear your scarf uh, around my neck uh, to keep myself snug whenever I'm walking in the garage. Uh, and although I love wearing this scarf uh, in the cold days, there is a drawback. And yes, by drawback, I mean, yeah, you get it. 
if I wear this scarf for too long or if I make this too tight around my neck, then I may um, evolve into an actual Yoshi, which may sound horrifying to be honest, um, but despite uh, this similar drawback uh, of how it is possible to evolve into an actual Yoshi after wearing this scarf for too long or too tight, uh, this still makes an adorable item to fit around my neck, especially in the uh, cold and breezing wind chill days, especially in the winter and for all of them. So next item is uh, a Yoshi ornament that I got from Hallmark. And I knew I had to get this for my small tree. So, because of how uh, small it is, uh, and yes I get it because it's an ornament, uh, I'm going to be zooming in closely, and yes I did give him uh, a paper clip uh, to uh, fit on a certain branch, um, but despite uh, getting a paper clip, I tried to make this ornament go level, uh, especially with the uh, brick, uh, but only little could be done, uh, as the angles were about 15, 15 to 20 degrees. So that's the ornament, if I can stand up. Next item is uh, one of the KNX Yoshi bikes. I will just, just get back on there. You, I don't know what to call it anymore. Next item is a um, KNX Yoshi bike. Uh, another one of those uh, from Mario Kart 8 with the uh, changing wheels. Uh, for the front and back, in which I'll show it to you if I can get this camera here. Or I may have to do it uh, left handed. Yeah, so basically, uh, the, the front and back wheels uh, just uh, go at different angles, and I am not doing this correctly, aren't I? Well, do we know on floorboard? <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. So basically, uh, if uh, there were to be a different gravity level, first you have to turn uh, this front wheel, and then uh, turn this wheel right here, and then uh, turn this back wheel, which is kind of slippery, um, if you ask me, uh, because the back wheel doesn't stay connected well enough. Uh, so, you're gonna have to use a bit of caution when um, moving uh, this bike. Uh, and so, to turn it back to normal gravity, you have to move this front wheel up, turn it this way. Uh, and usually, it does not have a good connection, does he? Then, you have to turn this wheel. Uh, and once again, the uh, front wheel, back wheel doesn't stay connected well enough. Uh, just pops out whenever it wants it to, really. And because I have so many Kinex uh, Mario Kart uh, uh, characters, I actually wonder if I should uh, do uh, a review on how many Kinex uh, uh, um, Mario Kart characters I have. Uh, Make it a couple more, but there you go. Uh, so, like as you can see, that one's. Mario Kart 7, uh, and these two uh, must be from Mario Kart Wii, uh, with the original um, Yoshi Kart as well as the Wild Wing. There are a few other Yoshi colors. But I don't know uh, which uh, Yoshi bike uh, or carts to choose from, whether it be uh, the Bumblebee cart or the Wild Wing. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, on where I should include for my Kinex Mario Kart characters, you can let me know in the comments below. So, next item right over here is uh, a new Nintendo 3DS XL uh, case that I've been wanting to get for my new 3DS XL. 
And yes, the uh, packaging did come into two different plastic parts, so I have to use this part right here for the uh, top part, and this part right here for the bottom. And as for as far as the screen here itself goes, um, not much has changed at all. Um, basically, just uh, regular new 3ds XL. Um, so basically, it just changes on the outside, but never do I know for the inside. And this ornament does not want to stay out very well, does it? Nor this bike. And nor this front back wheel. Ah, oh, well, that's... That's gonna have to leave a mic. <laughs> Alright, so... Next time we have... It is a 3DS game. What could it be uh, by any chance? Uh, it is also an amiibo game that is compatible for said 3DS. I'm pretty sure you saw it in the um, Winter Storm warning video for St. Mary's County back on the 4th of January. It is one that's about to have its one year anniversary, which is... Yep, you guessed it. Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World for the Nintendo 3DS. So after watching a couple of gameplay clips from the Wii U version, uh, as well as uh, a couple of trailer videos for the uh, 3DS version, um, including uh, all 31 uh, of the short movie clips uh, from this game, I knew I had to get it for myself. And as far as the 31 uh, short movie clips go, I tell you, they are 100% filled with all sorts of Yoshi cuteness. Uh, and uh, if you are allergic to this kind of cuteness uh, for yourself, then I may not recommend this to you. Unless if uh, you're a doctor say so, uh, at which uh, if you do uh, suffer from uh, Yoshi cuteness, uh, you may consult a doctor for yourself. But anyway, here is the uh, front of the case. Uh, which the um, title itself uh, has changed around as opposed to the Wii U version. And as far as Pucci and Yoshi go, uh, they basically stay the same as the Wii U version, just with uh, slight modifications on the front cover. But once again, here's the front and the back. You can unreveal, throw, and stitch to explore this adventure with Yoshi and Pucci. You can sniff out secrets, take control of Pucci on stages, and have even more fun with amiibo figures. Uh, as, you, as you can see. But if you uh, know what I mean um, by um, the uh, 31 short movie clips uh, from this game, uh, and uh, if you've never heard of them, um, then I will have the uh, link to all 31 of the short movie clips in the description below so you can check it out. Have a go with it for yourself. I highly recommend taking a look at all 31 movie clips from this game. They are going to be uh, the best 17 minutes of your life with all sorts of Pucci and Yoshi cuteness, really. But I guess this will wrap up part 8 of my new cute and awesome Yoshi toys. I know that we haven't gotten to uh, my pajama costume and air freshener and 5 of uh, the uh, wind ups because uh, I still have to get the pink one. But I just wanted to break it up uh, and put those in part 9. So if any one of you have a suggestion for Part 9 of my Yoshi toys, aside from what else I have in store, then you can let me know in the comments below, because now is the time. But I guess that's going to be it from this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you very much for watching, and just an update for you. We have, uh, for the 3DS collection, we have the two Yoshi games, a uh, racing game, a smashing game, and a multi-sports game. What's next for our 3DS collection is a tennis game, a party game, and a golfing game.